It's been a while, beard brother. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Very, very welcome. So the reason I thought I'd get you along is because, as you can see behind me, the Audi S5, the three litre V6 turbo. I want to ask you what your initial thoughts are on it. I, I'm going to be honest, it's, it's Daytona grey. Yeah. Um, it's, it's the S, so it's got the, the quad pipes um, and, and it's a cab. Yes. Three things I will look for in a car. It, it grey, big wheels, yeah. quad pipes, and, and Audi do LEDs better than anybody else. Do you know what? It, this is one of the things, and I said it in a previous video that I've just filmed, is, um, so that coffee's nice by the way. This is very good. Very good coffee. Is I just, I love the, the evolution of the A5 range, yep. where it was 10 years ago to where it's got now. The lines look a lot sharper, they Agreed. look a lot smarter. Aesthetically, front of the car, aggression. Oh, massively. Wicked. Massively. Really, really it's good got that whole move out of my way. Yeah. I'm coming yeah. through angled LEDs, and I'm sure Audi have angled them at a certain angle specifically to resemble yeah. Batman's eyebrows or something. <laughs> Batman's eyebrows. Batman's eyebrows. Yeah. The rear of that car for me, it, it's great. And I think the fact that the, the quad exhaust pipes really work on that car. Yeah. Rather great. than the ovals. But I just think I just think it looks great. I mean it looks bloody fantastic. It does. We'll take we'll take bloody fantastic. If we start to talk about things such as performance on the S5, I mean I've done a fair stretch from my house to get to you. And for the first time since getting it from yesterday, I've got a chance to open the what well, stretch the legs on it. And it's punchy, mate. So this, how much horsepower has this got? So 345, 350 horsepower, 369 foot pound of torque. Wow. Yeah, so it's not a slouch. With four wheel drive. With four wheel drive, quattro, quattro system. Quattro four -wheel system. Drive. Yeah. Zero to 60 in 5.1. 5 5.1 seconds. 5.1 I mean, look, seconds. Real world, that is more than fast enough. It's usable power that you can use every day. I don't understand people that look at 0 to 100 times because you can't do 100 miles an hour yeah. unless you're on a racetrack yeah. or, or, or on a runway or something. But yeah. 0 to 60, 5.1 mm -hmm. seconds, yeah. there is nothing in the law that states you can't exploit 0 to 60 performance legally yeah. in a 60 mile an hour zone. 5.1 seconds That's is quick. plenty. That is quick. Absolutely plenty. And you can do it in quilted massage seats. Yes, and I've only just figured that out, so I'm definitely going to explore that now. But again, it just adds that luxury, carbon fiber everywhere, Alcantara everywhere, virtual cockpit. Right, virtual cockpit, I'm, I'm going to put it out there now, yeah. has revolutionized the modern car world. Yeah, I it agree. It has taken a, a reasonably boring place to sit yeah. and turned it into your very own rocket ship fighter yeah. jet. It, it, it makes everything else look and feel old. And yeah. don't get me wrong, uh, there, there are other companies that do beautiful car interiors, but the virtual cockpit looks way more expensive than yeah. than its 50 whatever thousand yeah. pound yeah. price limit. But yeah, no, you're right. And I mean, I, I first saw the virtual cockpit. I mean, I filmed a video with Petrolped, Pete from Petrolped, really, really good content. Hi, um, I'll leave a link to his channel. Make sure to check out his stuff because it is really good. But we took the new Audi, well, the Audi RS4 out. And I was completely blown away by that co virtual cockpit. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like there's a drone following Yeah, you, exactly. It's, it's exactly. ridiculous. And you can, you know, if, you, if you're in the R8 uh, and, and you step out and go into the S5, yeah. you, you know, you don't know any difference because your, your view is the same virtual cockpit. Yeah. And therefore it makes something like this feel special. Feel, yeah. Because you can sit there and go, wow, I'm in the, uh, yeah. you know, the premium level. Completely agree. Yeah. Right, it looks like it's starting to rain, mate. So uh, I think it's about time we jump in and exploit that Quattro system a bit. Let's do it. Right, let's Come get on. going. Uh, How's that plastic surgeon, mate? Hey, look good. Good. I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that I'm 53. Yeah, mate, I'll tell you what, I've yeah. got a lot to learn. 53 I've years old and still going strong. <laughs> let's, let's have a look. God, do you know what? It sounds fantastic. that v6 grunt to it yeah yeah yeah. but it's it's delivery as well i mean it's got the eight speed gearbox so the delivery of the power is, is very smooth so you're chomping through those gears but you can feel the torque yeah. i mean you can you sit there try and lean forward and you're going to struggle i know i mean and it's just i mean you know feel that i feel my shoulders being pinned back yeah it's it's um i know i need more time in the gym yeah <laughs> and well, it's such a nice place to be i mean yeah. you know you forget as well you're in a convertible Yes, yeah. And I was just and, about to say to you, yeah. uh, we've, we've not got a panoramic roof, that's a bit of a faux pas, but yeah. actually, it's, it's a 
yeah. fabric roof, it but you, you wouldn't know. But that's the thing, isn't it? A lot of the thing where, where car manufacturers get it wrong in convertible cars is the amount of ambient noise, you know, yeah, the, the outside yeah. noise that just seems to leak through, or in your case, water that seems to leak through. Ah, uh, yes, the Project 7 yeah. does have a slightly leaky roof. A slight little challenge, yeah, but it's, uh, in here, a common problem. It's that it's that luxury feel. I mean, steering wheel. I love the steering wheel. I love so the steering wheel. So much going on here. And you have a, a choice now. You have um, off, wave, let's go, stretch, let's go with or need. Let's go with stretch. Well, I'm going to go need because I need a massage. Mate. What? Wow. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's nice. Grunt is well worth the money. I am impressed for fifty six thousand pounds. Fifty eight. Fifty eight. Fifty eight on the road. Yeah. And okay. this this has got a couple of extra options on it. I mean, I think the base models around 49, 40, 49, 53. Okay. By the time you add carbon fiber, by the time you add. Yeah, I mean, well, this is this has got like the dimming pack. It's also got the S line suspension, which is twelve hundred quid okay. uh, with the extra the dampening on it. So when gotcha. we're in comfort, it feels a lot nicer. I mean, we're in dynamic now, but I mean, for me, I think it's quite. I think it's a lot of car for the money. Yeah, agreed. Let's see what it's like. See, I mean, it's it's a damp road now. It's, it's it is damp. Let's damp see, road. See, see what it's like. I'll just position. Yeah, launch control. I don't know if it has a launch control. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Whoa, mate. I mean, that's fruity. And it's damp. No wheel spin yeah. whatsoever. It just puts the power down. It does engage you, doesn't it? it? Does. That noise. And it does, yeah, it holds the road. Yeah, it? that is. Uh, it inspires confidence. And as you say, it is a damp and, and really quite nasty day. Yeah. It gives confidence. It does. And we're, so we can do this up to 31 miles an hour. Wow, so we're doing, uh, we're we're doing, doing about we're doing 20, 20 miles an hour. Just I feel a little bit more. Oh, look. Look at that. Hopefully oh. it doesn't rain. Oh. I mean, there's people everywhere. everywhere. People are looking and going, these guys yeah. look the same. Yeah, we're good. That's it. Wow. You can hear, you can hear oh, the, yeah, the you exhaust. Get more, uh, but, atmosphere. Yeah. So overall, look, I think, do you know what? For for fifty eight thousand pounds, yeah, you're you're gonna get yourself um, an incredible car. Definitely specify the carbon fiber interior. That looks yeah. incredible. Yeah, looks great, Polished yeah. carbon fiber. Yeah. Definitely get these Alcantara bits. Which I think are standard actually. Yeah, Alcantara I think they are. I'm just enjoying driving this. You know, as a first drive, as I said, it fills me with confidence. The handling is good. The suspension is sharp as well. Not a lot of roll on this car. Seating position. Oh, spot up. Top notch. You know, steering. Oh, hello. Steering as well. It's quite direct. It's tight, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's quite direct. I mean, you point it and it goes, and I've just missed the pub, as you do. Mate, it's been a pleasure, as always. It's always good to get you on camera. Tom's Instagram will be floating around somewhere now, around here. Um, about also, here. About, about there. About here. But also, I will leave a link to Tom's channel in the description below. Mate, thank you so much. It's pleasure, been a pleasure. My of course, thanks to all of you guys for watching. Massive thank you to Audi UK. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you all very soon on the next one. Bye-bye. Do you know what? I always get that when I'm filming a video. It just... Get to the chopper. No. No. <laughs> so, funny story. Um, we've just been filming the whole of this and uh, the, the camera stopped filming. It's not my fault. I mean, at the end it's of the day, it's always your fault. Just, just blame the bear. I just, I had enough blame of your, teddy I had bear. enough of your crap. Oh, see that? See that's good. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to stay clean. Throw your rubbish in the bins. That's where it's supposed to be. Otherwise, this lady here will chop your fingers <laughs> off. <laughs>